Jean-Pierre Bember is being very careful. He agreed to text us our interview location only once we had arrived at Faro Airport on the Portuguese coast. We were directed to Millionaire's Row in the Algarve, where many of Europe's top footballers own sprawling villas. Among the lines of mansions, the holiday home of a so-called warlord turned senator and leader of the opposition. This is where Congo's former vice president has taken refuge with his family since fleeing in April. At home, he's wanted by President Kabila's government for allegedly inciting rebellion. He also says his life is in danger. Despite that, he pledges to return. They tried to kill me three times, you know it. August, September and now March, three times. They sent tanks to my house, surrounded my house. Do you believe that uh, tanks is a place in a democracy? In the street? That is the reality, unfortunately, of Congo today. So, Mr. Bemba, how can you go home? Because you know the tanks will be waiting again, won't you? <laughs> okay, so let's give uh, time to, to time. And we see if we get more wisdom, wait and see. Jean-Pierre Bemba says he plans to be back by September the 15th for the new session of the Senate. He says the time for war, for violence, is over. I hope, I expect, res respect of human rights, respect of the Constitution, leaving the opposition their space, for the freedom of opinion, freedom of expression. And leave now the government lead the country and prepare ourselves for the next election. If the president doesn't allow you freedom, how can you get what you want? I will take the international community and the national community as witness. What can I do? Face to a dictatorship system. Meanwhile, Mr. Bemba dismissed what talk of international right? investigations yeah. into alleged murder and mass rapes in the Central African Republic. You will know that the uh, International Criminal Court no, has... that one. I'm not, of course, uh, involved on in any of these things. Uh. Yeah, but what I'm saying is they, they have you in their sights, don't they? So No, no. That's not true. Check your information. So there's no question of you ever having to go to The Hague? At all. Well, Jean-Pierre Bamber could soon be back in his homeland. How he is received is another matter. He wants guarantees for his safety. And is that something that uh, the president will give you? I don't know. <laughs> Normal is the, his own duty to protect all the Congolese people, but we don't know. Do, are you concerned for your life here in Portugal? I'm concerned for my life for anywhere, <laughs> and life for my children. So that's when that uh, I'm here, so to protect them. It must be a, a heavy burden to have that. It is, it is, yeah. But of course, uh, sometimes it is the price of a leader must pay. That's what I'm paying. <laughs>